On behalf of the University, I would like to extend a very warm welcome to you to this congregation for the conferment of degrees here in the Barney Hall. This is a very special day in our University calendar. Because it's a graduation day, it's a day of celebration for all our graduands, for all the family, friends and supporters, and for all the staff of the University. And this is a great venue in which to start that celebration. In the United States, they refer to these events as commencement ceremonies, as they use them to indicate the beginning or the commencement of a new journey, as opposed to an ending. And it's in this spirit that we also want to celebrate graduations at Strathclyde. Now, in a few moments, it will be my privilege to cap each of our graduates as their name is called out and they come up on stage to receive their award. The capping tradition has its roots in ancient China, and it's recognised as a rite of passage and as a mark of achievement. And for each of our graduates once capped, this also signifies that they're now part of a community of scholars at the University of Strathclyde, which can stretch back over 200 years to the Scottish Enlightenment. So they'll be in very good company. At the close of graduation, we have a reception in our nearby Lord Todd building to which everyone is invited to come along. We also hope to have an academic procession from the Barney over to the Lord Todd. This normally depends upon the weather, but I think today we've struck it lucky and we've got a great day for having an academic procession. In the meantime, I do hope that you enjoy the ceremony and when you see your loved one come up on stage to receive their award, I would strongly encourage you to celebrate. These occasions don't come round very often, and for many, they are once in a lifetime. So please make the most of it. I now formally declare that this congregation for the conferment of degrees is open, and I invite Professor David Hillier, the Executive Dean of Strathclyde Business School, to present our graduates to receive their awards. Thank you. Vice Principal, in the name of the University and by the authority of Senate, I present to you these students. For the degree of Master of Business Administration, Mohammed Asif Mohammed Salim Al Ghazali. <laughs> Antonio Alonso. Mohammed Nasser Alulait. <laughs> Maria Jose Aniorte Ufano. <laughs> Susan Elizabeth Armand. <laughs> Anna Austin. Gaurav Pareria. <laughs> Rowan Bradnam. <laughs> Nicole Ann Breton. <laughs> Ruben Bronte Gutierrez. Howard Brooksbank. <laughs> Leslie Ann Cameron. <laughs> Graham Campbell. <laughs> Barry John Carruthers. Ricardo Antonio Cellini. <laughs> Madeline Dawn Chadwick.
Aurelien Chantelot. Haram Choi. Chong Moon Sun. Russell Andrew Craig. Renato de Almeida Rocha. Joseph Julia Elias. Bernardo Escudero Morandea. Blanca Espinosa Espejo. Timothy W. Fentress. Zishan Fida. <laughs> Teresa Foster. <laughs> Fun Go Lin. <laughs> Miguel Angel Gabaron Galeotti. Helen Geyer Laidlaw. <laughs> Samuel M Michael Geltzer. <laughs> Mary Eve Gibu. <laughs> Philippe Gibu. Alexander Goyaneci. <laughs> Alan Douglas Graham. <laughs> John Haley. <laughs> Cynthia Reve Hallettin. Susan Rachel Hamilton. Andrew Christopher Hampson. Jennifer Lynn Hemerich. Tobias Hoffman. Andrew Horrocks. Charlotte Francis Hull. Ifan Jenkins. Pathana Jisairitham. Shan Mary Ann Jones. Erin Lee Kester. Barbara Anna Kielska. Victoria Smith Knox. Vaibhav Kumar. Inigo Larumbe Cabanas. Caroline Linder. Estibaliz Lopez Ruiz de Adua.
Dave Lord. Stephen Thomas Lynch. Scott Alexander McBride. James G. McDonald. Robert Ian William McGaughy. Kevin McGurk. Jonathan Anthony McLean. Lucas Emmanuel Mark Wilder. Julian Ranald Massey. Alfonso Montero Lopez. Christopher Ryan Morin. Andrew James Nash. David Colin Nielsen. Paul Muturi Ogega. Adam Jeffrey O'Loughlin. Mirren Nakani Orueta Linatha. Christine Pariso. Dale Pete. Nina Rani Ram. Rajkumar Rengaraju. Mati Reina Rihamaki. Roger Ritz. Fernando Henrique Rocato. Benjamin Jess Rove. Peter Douglas Russell. Manjunath Sadashivaya Rami Murthanaga. David Hunter Scott. Sarah Seacombs. Gregor Miller Shearer. Raymond Anthony William Sloan. Kevin Smith. Sule Mitsidis Stilianos. William Storey. Tristan Taylor. Shashank Sadanand Taishetti. Jun Keng Teo. Matthew Kyle Trader.
Daniel Valens. Rudy Johan Magda Verporten. Javier Vilauba Mansonet. John Michael Waite. Bridget Ann Ward. Wong Yoon Bing Kirsty. Camila Zrin. Mohammed Yassin Ahram. Tahir Al Baksh Al Balushi. Mohammed Tarek Al Dajani. Abdullah Said Kalaf Al Rubki. Ahmed Said Omar Bakshwashwan. James Paul Boyd. Cho Leung Hui. Lisa Cunningham. Gaspar Zoltan. Manjit Singh Gill. Surab Gupta. Hikmat Hilal. Ki Hui Sin. Reshna Kuvan Devadasan. Dei Chok Lee. Lu Zhao Zhan. Javi Lopez. Ragonandan Mudivarti. Stephen James Monroe. Saud Nasser Al Fadi. Mohammed Sadiq Pasha. Shivani Rana. Ashit Rai Vadera. Vasilius Sevintalis. <laughs> Ye Chan Shen. <laughs> then Chong Kyat. <laughs> David Andrew Wilson. Keiko Yano. <laughs> Mohammed Tagildin Mohammed Youssef. <laughs> Zhang Yongjun.
Abdullah Hamid Al Adwani. Alfonso Campos Clasing. Omar El Bahat. Robert Mark Fox. Sharif Gando. Christina Subjinder Kaur Jandu. Evangelos Kunturiotus. May Ibrahim Magdi. Jose Juan Rivera Galvan. Denis Shapovalenko. Rafaela Sayuri Yamamoto. For the degree of Master of Science in Business and Management, Connor Walter Adam. Adri Adika Prasetio. Georgia Atie Boyanian Georges. Shrabana Bandiopatai. <laughs> Evangelos Kalutsos. <laughs> Atikrit Chanjavanakul. <laughs> Jensi Chua Yi Zwan. Dai Jin. Nermiti Milind Durva. Caroline Helen Donaldson. Dreta Advitia Pratama. Hauda Girish Shashikant. <laughs> Callum Harley. <laughs> Cheshwan Shu. <laughs> Sarah McDonough Irons. Yash Karba. <laughs> Harman Preet Kaur. <laughs> Kao Chu Lu. <laughs> Tachapo Pongprayun. Raj Prakash Sangvi. Akshay Sharma. Hannah Rose Snyder. Athanasios Terzudis. Sile Tunoglu. <laughs> Ellis Blaine White. <laughs> J. 
Chi Shang. Zhang Rui Lang. In international management, Ayush Shantilal Bansali. Mustafa Muslim Barmal. Alessandro Ferraro. Suhib Tariq A. Filimban. Priyanka Gargi. Gabriele Giruletti. Chu Fan She. Hu Feng Yu. Dionisia Capitano. Willie Coleman. Ji Sun Lee. Yu Zhuan Li. Shi Yan Ma. Jorge Matthew. Lauren Custy Mayer. Bavia Mishra. Gloria Morandin. Ramkumar Muthuraman. Pichamon Paraksa. Waranit Santitipong. Mary Louise Isabella Scott. Krunal Shampako Cha. Yuan Yi Sotsi Peng. Peter Shabo. Chanatip Thong Prabagob. Abiram Upajayula. Alessandro Vacari. Kirsten Alexandra White. Cho Kwan Eva Wu. Meng Yang. In Project Management and Information, Dorothea Arman. Ronnie Guido Bandera. Irini Dionysopoulou. Dimitri Ivan Grant. Kay Lee. Yeah. 
Rosie Mallon. <laughs> Zheng Gang Nan. <laughs> Jessica Ann Rioch. <laughs> Alexander Roberton. Maud Fadhil Bean Samet. Paul Anthony Slavin. Christopher Stork. Dimitrius Takoulis. Cheng Ji Wu. For the degree of Master of Science in Business and Management, Mohammed Faiz Abdul Rahim Isa. For the degree of Master of Science in International Management, Efiolua Priscilla Oganbanwo. Ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, and most of all, Strathclyde University's newest graduates, it is my pleasure to once again welcome you to our graduation ceremony here in the Barony Hall. Quite rightly, our graduates have been centre stage, and I would like to begin my address by congratulating all of you once again on your achievements. Your hard work has paid off, and this has now been recognised in front of your family, friends, and the staff who taught and supported you during your time at the university. We celebrate your efforts and your achievements. Very well done. Now in a short while, at the close of graduation, you may be asked to join the academic procession as this leaves the hall. This invitation actually symbolises the fact that you are no longer students, but full members of the academic community of Strathclyde, a community that numbers over 180,000 individuals. The class of 2019 is graduating at a time of considerable change in Scotland, in the UK and internationally. And there is no doubt that challenges lie ahead for us all. However, as members of the Strathclyde family, you belong to a large, growing worldwide community with a shared ethos of tolerance and understanding and a desire to make a positive difference. I hope that the memory of today is something that will stay with you wherever you go and whatever you choose to do in life. We will keep in touch with you through our alumni team and I would ask that you keep in touch with us. Let us know what you're up to, what you think about what we're doing at the university, and what you could do to help future generations of students. As graduates of a socially progressive university, you have a competitive advantage, having been equipped with the skills, know-how, and capacity to absorb knowledge, together with the ability to positively influence and shape the world around you. In Scotland, we are fortunate in having a higher education system which is internationally respected, and as a society, we are quite right to invest in it. 
Education broadens the minds and it creates opportunities for individuals and for society. The opportunities that education gives each of us also carries with it a responsibility to use what we have learned wisely and for the good of others. And a sense of duty should come readily to graduates of this university. As Strathclyders, we only have to look to the achievements of those who have gone before us for our inspiration. To John Anderson, our founder, who established this university for the good of mankind. To the world's first oil man, James Paraffin Young. To the missionary and explorer, David Livingstone. To John Logie Baird, who did such pioneering work on the development of television. In the present day, we look to Dame Eilish Angelini, a pioneer in Scottish justice as the country's first female Solicitor General and later the first female Lord Advocate. And to Sir Tom Hunter, one of the most successful entrepreneurs in Scottish history and a philanthropist who used his wealth to the benefit of others. Now I'm sure that you've been given lots of advice on how best to plan your life. Some of this advice you will rightly ignore, some you may accept, but mostly you will have to learn for yourself. The Scottish author, Robert Louis Stevenson, put it well when he said, don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds that you plant. Now to reach this point in your life today, each of you will have traveled a different journey. For some, the path will be relatively smooth, and for others, this may have been more challenging. However, I am certain of one thing, that none of you would be here without the active support of your family and friends. They have picked you up when you've been down and they've encouraged you when you've needed it. And many will be here today proudly watching as you cross this stage with broad smiles and the odd tear in their eye. Now they are celebrating today because you carry with you their hopes, their wishes and confidence for a successful career. For the past half hour or so, their applause has rung in your ears as you each in turn cross the stage to receive your awards. I would now like to invite all of our graduates to show their appreciation for the support received from their family and friends. <laughs> I touched earlier on some of the key figures who have helped to create and shape the University of Strathclyde. And you can tell a lot about the values of an organisation by looking at its roots. Strathclyde traces its lineage back to 1796 when John Anderson brought it into being, the only Scottish university founded during the Age of Enlightenment and embodying the Enlightenment principles of reason, tolerance and equality. John Anderson's belief in useful learning and his commitment to taking knowledge and using this for the greater good is a motivating force which gives Strathclyde University its momentum today. In many ways, John Anderson was ahead of his time as he advocated in the 18th century the education of both women and men of all classes. This vision is just as important today and as a socially progressive university, we want the talent of our students to be developed to the highest level for the benefit of society. This can be seen in our pioneering law clinic where our students provide support and representation to people who cannot afford legal advice. It can also be seen in our technology and innovation centre, which is transforming the way in which we collaborate with business, industry and the public sector to bring global competitive advantage to Scotland. And this is a tangible sign of the university's commitment to world-class research and ensuring that outcomes have maximum benefit to society and to the economy. We are a university for innovation, seeking breakthroughs which will address the most urgent challenges facing the world through new and effective medicines, purposeful approaches to tackling climate change, new technologies to address energy poverty and food poverty, by informing public policy that addresses public need and makes for a vibrant and fair society, and by offering much needed independent insight into complex political, economic and social issues. 
These represent a small sample of the many contributions being led by our world-class staff and students in taking new knowledge and using it to solve problems in industry, in the classroom and in the boardroom. And we continually strive to enhance the student experience and invest in our campus, creating facilities like our £31 million Strathclyde Sports Building to support fitness, health and well-being, our £20 million District Energy Network, which is reducing our carbon footprint, and we are investing over £60 million in a new teaching and learning facility in the heart of the campus, and we are halfway through a £1 billion campus development programme. Other highlights over the last year have included our Principal and Vice-Chancellor, Professor Sir Jim MacDonald, who studies as an undergraduate and postgraduate at Strathclyde, who has been appointed the President of the Royal Academy of Engineering, the first Scot to hold this prestigious post. Strathclyde Business School's Breaking Barriers programme has enabled young people with learning disabilities to gain university and work experience, and this was recognised we were in the Youth Employment Award at the recent Herald Diversity Awards. Postgraduate students in Strathclyde Business School have developed a business plan that will help to transform the RMS Queen Mary, the world's last surviving steam turbine ocean liner, to become commercially viable following its restoration. The Business School Scottish Centre for Employment Research has been awarded £1 million from the Economic Social Research Council to investigate management practices and their effect on innovation and productivity. Strathclyde University has been named in the Sunday Times Good, uh, Good University Guide as the Scottish University of the Year for 2020. And the Business School has launched a new master's programme in financial technology in Bahrain. This is the first programme of its kind in the Gulf region and it will be delivered in partnership with the Bahrain Institute of Banking and Finance. Now, these are just some of the many contributions being made by our staff and students across Strathclyde Business School. And the university is being increasingly recognised as a place where things happen. And this is why our graduates are so highly prized by companies and organisations looking to recruit the best talent to drive their businesses forward. Our success is in no small part due to the effective and collective efforts of the commitment of our staff the 3,900 colleagues who deliver our vision as a leading international technological university. And like me, they are very proud of your achievements. All of our students learn how to be innovative, enterprising and creative, and they make a real difference when they go out into the workplace. So wherever your career takes you, always remember that as a Strathclyde graduate, useful learning carries with it responsibilities that go beyond academic scholarship. And finally, let me offer my sincerest congratulations to you all once again on your achievements, and I hope that you enjoy the remainder of what is a very special day. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that now concludes the formal part of this morning's proceedings, which I hope you've enjoyed and that you'll take away very many happy memories. At this point, I normally get a signal from the back of the hall to tell me whether or not the weather has stayed good enough for us to have an academic procession, but I can see that uh, we've got a lovely sunny, out day, uh, sunny out day outside, so we will have an academic procession from the Barney over to the Lord Todd, where we have a reception to which everyone is invited to come along and have some refreshments. And we'll take the opportunity to invite Strathclyde University's newest graduates to join the academic procession. So we could ask, ladies and gentlemen, for you to allow the academic procession to leave the hall and then thereafter follow us over to the Lord Todd for some refreshments. I now formally declare that this congregation for the conferment of degrees is closed.